she went home. Now when the Prophet uh, came home, Aisha told the Prophet that Fatima came looking for you today. The Prophet immediately went to the house and uh, he knocked the door and Ali radiallahu anhu said, Man, who is it? So the Prophet said that it's, it, it, it's me. Ali radiallahu anhu said, Ya Rasulullah intadir. He said, O Messenger of Allah, wait, they wanted to get the house ready. It was nighttime. Okay, and they wanted to get the house ready and you know be a little bit more presentable, right? When the Messenger of God comes to the home. The Prophet ﷺ said, Don't worry, ala halikuma. He said, just stay as you are. Stay seated as you are. Now, if you remember last week, the house of Ali and Fatima had one bed. It was also their couch. It was also where they fed their animals from. So they literally sat up on the bed, and the Prophet ﷺ said, Don't get up, just stay right there. And it was a cold night. Okay? So the Prophet, so they were kind of wrapped in, in, in their blanket. The Prophet ﷺ went inside and he sat between them. And he looked at Fatima and he said, Ya Fatima, O Fatima. She said, Naam Ya Rasulullah. Yes, O Messenger of God. He said, Jitini Lyom, did you come looking for me today? So she said, Naam Ya Abi. Yes, O my father. He said, Mada turidini ya Fatima? What is it that you're asking for, O Fatima? What, what caused you to inquire? So she said to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that I heard that maybe you had a, a servant or a maid or someone that could help me. Maybe there was someone that could help me because it's become difficult in the home. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man akhbaraki? Who told you that there might be some servants or there might be a maid or someone to be able to help you, a khadima to be able to help you. She didn't want to throw Ali under the bus because Ali was the one that told her that I think that he might, he might be able to, to provide a servant or a maid or a khadim to help you. So she just said, someone told me. So the Prophet ﷺ said, Ya Fatima, أَفَلَا أُعْطِيكُمَا مَا هُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمَا مِنْ خادم? Shall I not, O Fatima, shall I not give you something that is greater, that is more beneficial than a servant or a maid to assist you? So they, they both said, of course. Now the thinking was that maybe he's going to give, you know, he's going he's gonna to find a way to, to have multiple maids or multiple servants to help them out. But the Prophet ﷺ is about to make this situation really good for them, right? The Prophet ﷺ instead said, when you go to sleep, say SubhanAllah 33 times, which is to glorify God. So say SubhanAllah 33 times. Say Alhamdulillah 33 times, meaning praise Allah 33 times. And say Allahu Akbar 34 times. Okay, that God is the greatest 34 times. So glorify Him 33 times, praise Him 33 times, and declare His greatness 34 times, which would make 100. They said, Naf'ad Ya Rasulullah, we'll do that Ya Rasulullah. And then they said, Wal Khadim, and also is there, is there a maid or is there a servant? The Prophet Sallallahu said, and this is powerful because it shows you the ethics and the integrity of the Prophet Sallallahu He said, I can't give you a Khadim, I can't provide a servant for you and leave the people of Suffa, which were the homeless people that slept in the masjid. Okay, so the masjid had homeless people, those Ahl al-Sufa, the people that slept in the back of the masjid. He said, I can't leave them and the orphans from the battle of Badr empty-handed. Okay, so there were orphans from the battle. The Prophet said, I can't give them to, I can't, I can't help you and then leave them in their way. But the Prophet said, if you say these words every night before you sleep, Allah will provide for you in ways that are far greater than anything that you're asking for. Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that I never missed, there was not a single night, a single night that I did not say those words after that. SubhanAllah 33 times, Alhamdulillah 33 times, Allahu Akbar 34 times. And he said, I swear by Allah that we were increased in strength and sustenance and we never felt like we needed a khadim or needed a maid or a servant after that. That Allah had enriched us in this situation or gave us the strength so that we didn't need anything after that.